Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another beautiful day. Today, we're going to be doing our place value review, and to do so, we're going to be creating a foldable together. So you need a piece of paper. It doesn't matter if it's notebook paper or computer paper. I'm using computer paper. You need to place your piece of paper portrait, which means it's sitting facing this direction. If it was facing long ways, it would be landscape, but we need it portrait and you need to fold it vertically in half. So once you have it folded vertically in half, you're gonna take your paper, you're gonna fold it horizontally in half, and then horizontally in half again. So that when you open it back up, you have one, two, three, four spaces. And when you flip it open, it would look like this. Okay. Now, once you've folded your paper, we need to start labeling this. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it this way. That way, it'll open to this side. And we are going to look at the names of the periods that we're going to be talking about. Now, when I'm talking about periods, I'm talking about sections of numbers and place value. So the largest one we're going to look at is the millions. The next smallest period is the thousands. The next smallest period is the units. Technically, your decimal would go in between right here. And then our final period is going to be concerning the first three decimal places, okay? So, once you've labeled this, you need to take a pair of scissors and just this flap, just this side, you are going to cut the fold lines in between. Awesome. Now I have this gorgeous foldable that is ready to be filled in. So when we're talking about the decimals, you're going to open this flap and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want you to draw three sections in this portion. Now I'm using a ruler just because I'm a little OCD about straight lines. You can if you would like, but you do not have to. And just try and get the sections as even as possible. That way you have enough room to work. All right, so the smallest place value in the decimal section that we're going to work with this year is your thousandths. Now, if you notice, there is this THS on the end, thousandths. This means that you are looking at a number to the right of the decimal and the thousandths place is the third place after the decimal. Now to find the value of any number in the thousandths place, 
you have two options. Your first is to use multiplication with a decimal. So it would be 0 0.001 or one thousandth times your number or one over one thousand times your number. Okay. Those are your two options. So when you're looking at expanded notation, remember that there are two possible ways that you could write this in expanded notation. So its place value is the thousandth place, but its value is going to be one thousandth times however many thousandths you have. Now let's take a look at our next largest place value, which is our hundredths. And if you notice, once again, we have that THS at the end that tells us it's a decimal. And it is represented by decimal zero one. The hundredths place is the second place to the right of the decimal. And when finding its value or writing it in expanded notation, you would write decimal zero one times however many hundredths you have or one over 100, which is one hundredth times the number of hundredths that you have. Our next largest place value is our tenths. Once again, that THS kind of gives you the in indication that you're working with a decimal. A tenth is the first place after the decimal to the right and you can write it in expanded notation or find the value by multiplying one tenth times the number of tenths that you have or one over 10, which is also pronounced one tenth times the number of tenths that you have. And we will be looking more into value versus place here in a little bit, okay? Now, we're gonna close this flap and we're gonna move on to our units. Just like we did for our decimals tab, you're gonna draw three lines and separate this section into three parts. Now, remember that between our decimals and our units is that decimal point. That's why we wrote it there. I'm also going to draw the line in between and I'm going to put that decimal in between to remind myself that it belongs there. Now, the first place value to the left of the decimal is our ones. represented by one. To find the value, you would multiply one times the number of ones in your number, or one over one times the number of ones in your number. Remember that if the, the fraction, the top number over one, one divided by one is one, okay? So this is just a quick reminder of that. So one over one is the same as one. Then we move on to our tens, represented by 10. And to find the value of any number in the tens place, you multiply 10 
times the number of tens. Our next place value is our hundreds. The hundreds place is the third place value to the left of the decimal. And its value is found by multiplying 100 times the number in the hundreds place. Now, we're gonna close these two flaps, and we, oh, I almost forgot before I close those two. I need to draw my divider line. But this time, there's gonna be a comma right here. And I can even close these if you want to, and you can add a comma onto this and we can go ahead and add one to our millions as well. Okay. So just like we have with the other two sections, we're gonna take our ruler or if you just wanna draw the line, that's fine. And you're gonna divide this section into three parts. Now, in the thousands period, the smallest place value is your thousands. Also, you can call it the one thousands. This is represented, the place value is the fourth spot to the left of the decimal, and you can find the value of a number in the thousands place by multiplying 1,000 times the number in the thousands place. Our next place value is going to be the 10 thousands. The 10 thousands place is the fifth place to the left of the decimal. And you can find the value of any number in the 10 thousands place by multiplying 10,000 times the number in the 10 thousands place. Last spot in our thousands period is our hundred thousands. This place is the sixth place to the left of the decimal. And you can find the value of any number in the hundred thousands place by multiplying 100,000 times the number in the hundred thousands place. Now I'm gonna open up this next flap and I'm gonna draw my divider line. And I'm also going to put in my comma because I'm separating that I'm leaving the thousands period and I'm moving on to the millions period. So once again, just like before, I'm gonna separate this into three parts. The smallest value in the millions period is the one millions. It is the seventh place to
to the left of the decimal right here. And its value for any number that is in the one millionth place, the value can be found by multiplying one million times the number in the one millionth place. Now we move on to our 10 millions. It is in the seventh, or no, that's six, seventh, the eighth place to the left of the decimal. And it can, its value can be found by multiplying 10 million times the number that is in the 10 millions place. And last but certainly not least in the millions period is our 100 millions. The 100 millions place is the ninth place to the left of the decimal and the value of any number in the hundred millions place can be found by multiplying 100 million times the number in the hundred millions place. So now you have this wonderful review foldable and if you are unsure about place value this is going to be a great study tool because you have everything lined out in front of you. Now one thing that you could do is you could go through and you could color each period a different color just to help your mind group those sections. You're welcome to do so. Um, and then you could also color the front flap the color that you decide to color the period inside as well. That's completely up to you. Now, you will need to make sure that you are confident with all of these periods and that you understand the difference between the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. Um, as we go through different skills this year, you need that foundational knowledge. So if you need help, if you need extra practice, if you need extra visuals for this to make sense, please reach out and ask me. That way I can make sure you have everything you need. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.